moving swiftly on. Um, and I'm absolutely loving what um, what it's showing. And I, I, I've been watching Houdini really closely since version 16. So only three years. I'm going to get into it one day. Um, but it's a, it's a very node-based system. And with also um, geometry nodes coming... Well, it's in Blender 2.93 and they're changing it to fields in to uh, version 3. So sort of all of this node-based procedural or parametric modeling is all coming together. And it's not great for certain things, but for other things like placement of geometry, rule sets. So simple things like you know moss growing at a certain angle you know if it's if, if there's not enough uh place for it to i mean grow, I, I never took the course or even downloaded the program but i remember when we were first looking at houdini yeah i saw that there was somebody who had a udemy course on it where they were using udemy to make procedural buildings like a whole bunch of village buildings for an exterior scene yes and it just yeah. looked very cool yeah, the, the the amount of proc gen that you can do in it is absolutely amazing. And some of the mo uh, the more recent things, they've got an update to their render and other things like that. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be any Houdini courses anytime soon, but it is it's very exciting to see what other tools go in. I know it's very common to be um, somewhat. I, I'm going to say close minded. If, if you, it kind of it must be Blender, and there's this other tool sitting just to the right of it that can do volumetrics so much better so much quicker that you can import it back into blender and carry on so um it's, it's more about there's tools out there that you can just dive into come back again and resume your work in blender so yep. not to shun and push those away and that's true with game engines too i mean houdini is an interesting one. um and there's a couple of things that slow us down with the idea of making courses one is the skill ceiling like the amount of time we'd have to devote to getting the level of expertise is quite a lot like we need to get a few more courses out before we can even consider taking that much time off to study something that complicated yeah definitely um because it's a bit like blender there's so many things in houdini yep and there so really much is. to it that you really want to go into some depth before you start teaching it because you, you otherwise you get like six weeks in and think oh there's actually a better way of doing that uh, the other thing is the licensing. Everything we've been teaching so far is free and open source. Yes, including Arda, it is free and open source, but it's not free as in money. Um, but even then, like buying Arda or compiling it yourself is not the same as getting a Houdini license. Houdini does have a student license. Yes. In but fact, that's quite got... limited what you can do with it it's it's limited in certain ways it's it's limited in in the way that i was like oh it's really good for volumetrics you could do them in houdini and export them to no you can't do that in the i think it's called houdini indie although no apprentice apprentice um indie is the is the cheapest one it's about 200 300 bucks something like that um i also um I mean, the best thing you can do if you're if you're interested in that sort of thing is just type in Houdini nineteen sneak peek. They've had their full oh, presentation great. today. That's about two hours long. The sneak peek is about eleven minutes, and it gives you quite a bit of the information that's in there. 